So I have two great passions in my life. One is science, and the other is beer. I'm here to convince you today that studying what makes beer, which is yeast, can ultimately lead to new treatments in cancer. Now, why study yeast to study cancer? Well, tumors originate from unhealthy cells. And in order to cure disease, you need to first understand how a healthy cell normally works. Now, yeast is perfect for this because it's a single-celled organism, it's very easy to work with, inexpensive, and surprisingly enough, has many of the same features that human cells have. So, let's get to the actual science. Remember back in high school chemistry class using this thing called a pH meter to measure how acidic or basic something was? Well, for my PhD thesis, I found that yeast have their very own pH meter, which they use to determine the pH inside the cell. Now, this pH meter turns out to be a lipid, which is a type of fat. In a normal, healthy, growing cell, the pH inside the cell is neutral. And a neutral pH, this lipid, is negatively charged, which allows it to bind onto a positively charged protein, just like two magnets with opposite charge. Now, when the cell becomes acidified, the lipid loses some of its negative charge, which decreases the electrical attraction these two things have with each other. This allows the protein to unbind. And once the protein is free, it immediately works as a handbrake, immediately shutting off cell growth. Hence, the lipid functions as the cell's very own pH meter, which it uses to sense um, how acidic the pH becomes in order to stop growth. Now, why is this important? Well, this is extremely important because this is a completely new way for cells to communicate information inside themselves. Now, remember, you need to first understand the basics of how cells work, such as how they communicate, in order to start using that information to treat disease. Now, how can we actually use this information to treat cancer? Well, it turns out that this lipid binds onto a well-known cancer-causing protein, and tumors uh, have a very high or basic pH. Together, this means that in tumor cells, the lipid is always binding onto this cancer protein because of the high pH, which means that the cancer protein is always on in <coughs> tumors, which would significantly contribute to tumor growth. Hence, by either targeting the lipid or manipulating the pH in the cell using drugs, this is an ideal way to kill tumors and stop cancer, which I'm currently working on for the rest of my PhD thesis. So in summary, beer is amazing. Thank you. <laughs>